It is Monday and we love checking in with Michelle Brown with your daily creative boost. So let's get right to it, Michelle. And we're prepared. We've been telling everybody, grab some paper, paper and, and pen. a pen. Let's jumpstart that creative side of our brain this morning. What do we have going on? That's right. We're going to, I left you guys Friday with, uh, you know, saving up your body parts with some Halloween <laughs> decor. So I thought today would we just kind of do a nice little easy relaxing start uh, to the week. Uh, and I'm laughing at the DOT sign. Uh, message because uh, I haven't seen it for so long. It seems like driving in there to the studio and uh, the limit on friends. That's kind of like everywhere. Uh, <laughs> it seems like anymore. But uh, today I just wanted to share with you all um, uh, just a really uh, great creative exercise that we do a lot of times to warm up before workshops and different things. And uh, it really com combines the things that we do with our hands as well as that pen to paper connection. How many of you um, are familiar, you have friends that are, uh, you know, doing things with their hands and they all have these really great rewarding stories of just how beneficial that work is to them. I'm sure you guys, and even for you personally, Right, yeah, so even like carpenters or people that do woodworking or mechanics, yeah, they dive in there and they're really proud of what they do. So what are we doing with yeah, our hands this morning? Yeah, and I have a, a friend that uh, has a really great, you know, high paying, very important job and so forth. And uh, he talks about the satisfaction that comes from making, you know, $5 bars of soaps that he sells. So I think it's just, you know, today's uh, little exercise is that reminder of, staying connected to what we can do with our hands because um, just, you know, for mental health, for us, you know, the, the, the world that we're living in right now, the changes that we need to make. So uh, here's what we need to know. Everybody, you can play along at home. It just takes a few minutes. Uh, if you're sitting there at your desk, you know, working remotely, get some paper, something to write with. And I want you to um, trace your hand. So this is also kind of timely with uh, the kids exercise, you know, we used to make the, the turkeys uh, and the feathers and different things by doing this exercise. I got some jewelry on that doesn't help. But I want you um, both to just trace your hand, but don't connect it down um, by your wrist. Leave that open. So finish off by your thumb. And I love to do, um, I put two hands down. Uh, if you have a larger piece of paper, you can also, this is a great project to do as a family where everybody puts their hand on a page and then we'll come back in and add um, our detail and our thought. But then at, at the bottom where you've left it open, I want you to um, script out your name, block out your name. Okay. And connect them. And then what you've done is you've basically uh, given your uh, the doodling, the exercise, you've made it personal and you've given it a shape. Um, and that matters when you go into um, sitting down and actually just moving the pencil and the pen around. So once you have that connected, now what I want you to do <laughs> is um, start just kind of sectioning off your hand. So put some lines. Uh, you can even play up, you know, your fingernails, your jewelry. Just your start knuckles? Some marks. How about your knuckles? Your knuckles, that's right. You can okay. add some nice hairy designs to them if you want. Okay. But um, just, and, and the idea here too is we're in such a, you know, every, we're in a hurry all the time. Um, and it really does help us be more productive and to be able to do more things um, to actually slow down once in a while and give uh, our ideas and our thoughts and our feelings some space to breathe. And these types of exercise really help us with that. So just kind of section off. Parts of the hand. <laughs> and then, what are you laughing at? It looks like monster hands. I know, all of our hands do. Even I've got some with Berkeley, and that's, yeah, they just look like, but that gives you more room to play and to explore and to experiment. And then once you have um, kind of sectioned it off, uh, I want you to focus on some things that you want to do with your hands, that you enjoy doing, that you find um, beneficial, that make you feel good, whether it's you want to write, you want to draw, you want to cook. You love to, um, you know, something with, with beauty, uh, whatever it is, start focusing on some of those words and filling in some of those spaces and using the different sections that you have drawn out as the space for those words and those letters and fill that up. You can put some sayings in there, but really be intentional about the things that, and it could be even um, your today's to-do list, things that oh, you need there you to go. get done. Okay. Put those on there. All right. 
Yeah. But a way to kind of kickstart the creative side of your brain, <laughs> uh, connect with who you are, your family is, and, and just do some really fun things. It can all just start <laughs> with a piece of paper, a pen, mm -hmm. and your own very hand. So have some fun with us. More uh, coming to you from Michelle. You can see that online. Mm -hmm. And if you have some fun photos you want to share with us, please post those on our Iowa Live <laughs> Facebook page. Michelle, always great to see you. We'll get ready for another daily creative boost tomorrow. Be where, be where your hands are today. All right. <laughs> Thanks, like Michelle. It. All right.